What do you hope for hockey in the future? Yeah, more girls playing hockey. I was really lucky actually to grow up in Stovall because we had a girls hockey organization. Um, that was something that's really unique in the 90s because a lot of girls grow up and their story is that they played boys hockey. Boy, I thought I was the only girl on earth that played hockey at that time just uh, because I grew up in such a small town. Hockey wasn't something that was readily available for girls. There were no girls teams where I grew up. Starting out, it's just exactly like how you're saying that, you know, like there was one of Haley Wickenheiser for us, there was like nobody, like there were girls, but there was nobody that really looked like us. It'd be nice if someone that looks like us can walk into a hockey ring and not get like double takes and stares, because we do still get that. I, you know, have done research and work around Muslim, young Muslim women um, who love the Leafs, who love hockey, and they see themselves there. They really connect with this sport. And so whether it's microaggressions or misunderstandings uh, and, you know, stereotypes of certain uh, racialized communities, they still navigate through all of that to hold space for hockey. But it's something that we were just like, okay, like we just have to keep going, move past this and like prove to them almost that we're good enough to play here. I would love to see uh, a professional league that players are able to have that be their full-time focus, um, that they can go home and get eight hours of sleep and proper nutrition, go to the gym and people know who they are when they walk in a rink. One of the hardest things for me to say, because it pains me, is that we don't have a sustainable domestic league in this country. I want people to understand that with the women's game, it can't be modeled in the same way after a structure that was the men's. I mean, childcare was never an issue for men. It will be for women. We can't just remodel one entire you know, organization and try to apply the women to it. It should be built properly. I'd like to see a female GM not an assistant, not someone that's, you know, just working for friend office um, as a piece to the puzzle, but someone that is in a leadership role and helping set the tone for an organization. I think it's just a continuation and not only those big hires, but just creating a sustainable environment where women are not only hired, but they thrive in that environment and we'll see those promotions and figuring out to how to support the game long term, how sustainability uh, sponsors that work in a business model that puts them at the level that they deserve to be at the three other years when the Olympics aren't on. It's not just, you know, simply seeing the growth of the game here in North America, but worldwide as well. I think about the national team in India that had no equipment, um, no ice rink, and yet they're playing at an international level. Well, I think we provide opportunities, right? And to do it also in non-traditional places like India and Mexico and bring these girls from countries where they're really not um, appreciated and, and thought of as equals. Why do you want to see more girls playing hockey? So there could be like girls like us and they could be watching other girls play and then they can have like a role model. I mean, I think Marie-Philippe Poulain should be on currency. I don't know why she's not. I'm quite, I'm going to call the mint after this. <laughs> <laughs>